live. Hi guys. Hello everybody. We had a little technical difficulty, but we're here now. So, um, D is in the chat helping me out. Uh, well, not in the chat. She's in the room actually. Not in my room. She's in her room because I'm in this room. She's over there in wherever. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you had a wonderful turkey day. Um, we're working on this cross. Uh, let's see. Roland Picker, Jennifer, Sherry, Shelly. Hi, everybody. Mm. So I changed the camera angle. You guys got you down a little bit lower, so maybe um, you can see a little better. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be the bale for this cross. It's going to sit like this, and I want to put that piece of coral on it. And then I think I may... Um, you know, carve out a little bit on the bale just to make it a little bit more interesting. So <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do now. I need to put um, some way to attach it. Let's see. Was it going that way or was it going that way? I can't remember now which way I decided I was going to go with it. Um... Hmm. All right. I think. Well, I think it was this way. I think it was with the larger part up. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Somebody's got the sandpaper going. <laughs> it's amazing how much the, these mics pick up everything that's going on around. My laptop in the house has a bad fan on it. And I'm going to have to tear it apart after tomorrow night and see if I can't take care of that so i am just making some marks hopefully yep there there to put these little uh let's see little guys on to hold this in ah I can get it where I want it. Maybe I'll mark it. There we go. And I can hear my dogs across the way barking like hell because I didn't want to leave them in the house because it's a fairly decent day today. Okay. That's about where I want those to go. So, what I'm going to do this, get it turns the right way. Ah, God, I hate when I do that. I just dropped the piece. My wonderful hands. So let's see. Put this. Here. 
Line those up. And see if I can't get that soldered on there. I can't hear anybody. Dia, are you still in here? Yep. Okay. I just uh, didn't hear you reading anything. Okay. Hi, Lucy. Um, Bianca, hi. Welcome, welcome. We're, we're working on the... Uh, on the cross. Man, I love that striker. Oh my gosh, who is that? None other than cup, Cupcake. Oh no, guys. Cupcake snuck in on us. They came in through the back door. You need to start locking your doors. Oh gosh. How's I it going there, Dia and Sandy? <laughs> It's going well, Mike. Playing with my favorite tool, the striker. Yep. Hi, Lucy. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, Bianca, you came in at the right time. Yep. I, I love me some striker. <laughs> So, um, like I was saying, I changed the camera angle. So, guys, let me know if it uh, if you like it or if you want it to go back. Um, what I did is I just lowered it down. There's two shelves up here, and I just uh, lowered it. And uh, that's what I wanted. Hey, Barb, what's up? Uh, Lucy, this is Roland Picker, a.k.a. Cupcake. This is the real original Roland Picker, not that fake piece of crap that was here the other day. Yeah. We're still trying to find that. Yeah, Roland Picker, often imitated but never duplicated. Ooh, I like that. That's quite a saying there, Mike. Yeah, it was. I, I took it off a commercial. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forget which one, so I can't give him any props. Barb's here. Hey, Barb. I hope you had a good turkey day. That's right, Shelly. Only one cupcake, and that's moi. Why did that fit through there? Hmm. That should be fitting through. It's not. Layla's here. Hi, Layla. That's. Yes, Lucy. Actually, that cupcake had sprinkles and it was a rainbow buttercream frosting. That's how I got the name. I don't know what everybody else thinks because I really haven't asked Dia either, but what do you guys think of this new camera angle being it up close? You know, you can see. I like it better. Yeah, you can see more detail, right? You can see what she's doing. Yeah, the only thing is the striker's not in the picture, but I can live with that as long as I can hear it. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I got to figure out how we can put. Another 
Okay. Lucy said a unicorn. Who's a unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> They're all liking the angle, though, on the, okay. uh, on the shot. And the video, I got to say, is pretty clear today. Good. Hi, Layla. Uh, I wonder what internet I've got hooked up to. Oh, and Groovy Granny's uh, Gail's here too. I forgot to to mention. All right. Yeah, it's hooked up over at the house. If you can imagine, it's it's really clear picture. Yeah, it's the the five G from the house. So. so uh, Hi, Josie. Granny Josie's in? She just popped in. All right. Thelma's uh, here. Oh, hi. Thelma. Hi. hi, Josie. Welcome. Thelma. welcome. Um, for you guys that, that um, weren't here yesterday, let me show you what we're, what we're working on. I... Uh, Really, am enjoying this uh, ribbon turquoise that I got a couple years ago at Tucson. I just started cutting it um, a couple days ago, I guess, didn't we? Yeah, um, this was the first pieces that we made out of it. We made a pair of earrings out of that. And um, then I decided for the MSP auction, I needed to do a cross. So we've got, uh, oops, come here. Yummy. We got this going on with this piece of, uh, I don't know. On my screen, it's not showing up real great, guys, is it? Oh, it looks great. Okay. So we're doing that cross, and then this bale will sit on it like that with this piece of coral. So Probably do about like that. So what do you think of that, guys? I like it. All right. Most definitely beautiful. Josie likes it. Thelma said, songwriters often dream of new songs. Do you dream of new designs, Sandy? I do. I do. I, uh... I haven't lately, but it used to be that I would get up around three o'clock in the afternoon. Let me just tip this up and talk to you guys for a second. Hi. Um, uh, I would uh, get up at like three o'clock in the morning. I was so afraid that I would lose the design that I would um, go into the workshop and make the piece at three o'clock. Um, because I, I didn't want the design to get away from me. And then I went to um, starting to have a, a, a sketchbook by my bed. So when I woke up, I, I sketched it out and uh, so that I wouldn't lose the design. But yeah, um, a lot of time, and it, and it comes to me like just as I'm beginning to wake up. So yeah, Thelma. That's fun when that stuff starts happening. It hasn't lately, but I'm sure that it will come back once I start feeling, you know, better like a human being again. <laughs> uh, but anyway, okay, let's get back to, to this one. But um, we did kind of a pop-up auction the other night when I made these and sold them at the end of the video. 
Yeah, didn't Mary win those? Yeah, Mary got those. Yeah, I got spanked trying to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of fun. I just wanted to say thank you for the people watching for hours. <laughs> Gosh. Jory Nurse is in here. Right on. Hi, Cindy. Cindy. Uh, Layla, Layla said that this cross must go to the Egyptian pop in Egypt, signed by Sandy. How about ooh. that? Uh huh. Now we know. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out um, where to put the other uh, other um, silver support on this so that I'm able to slip this through and then bring it back up to it. So I'm going to just cut off this little knob here. I'll grind it off. Yes, Layla, they are sold. You missed the bidding. It was uh, pretty good. I got beat down like usual. So what I want to do is be able to, there we go. See, I can, I can slide this all the way through. And if I have a, 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 a hoop up here, then I can bring this back up and get it there. And then I'll just put uh, a little bit of uh, super glue on it to uh, get it to, stay in place but that's that's what I was looking for is to be able to slide it through that so I need to determine where up here I want it I don't know if I mentioned it but uh, uh, Patricia's here and so is Jaded oh, hi Patricia oh we need to mention uh, Granny Josie's um, sale today She's got a, a Black Friday sale. Um, she's selling pieces for 13 each, I believe. And if you buy three, they're $10. And she's giving away a pair of earrings, guys. Oh, wow. Sale, sells. And um, please tell me who else is uh, got a sale going or whatever you're doing your channel please feel free to put your channel um in the in the chat this um channel guys is not only to show you jewelry but to help support the community um thelma has a wonderful channel shows us a myriad of things that woman has fashion sense for enough for three people um Yes, she does. Barb has uh, auctions going on. Grumpy has auctions. Um, Bianca just put out her first video. Um, anybody in the chat, please um, just write channel or something to let the other people know in the chat that you have a channel and that um, they need to subscribe to you because we're all in this together, guys. This ain't a one man show <laughs> i know i wouldn't be here without without the support of uh of you guys uh you know you've been extremely encouraging to me and i i just wouldn't be here without you so please um put in the chat if you've got a channel or an auction coming up let everybody know we're thinking about trying to get a face page uh or a Facebook page where everybody can list their auctions on like a calendar so that we know and we don't um, overlap somebody else's auctions. So that's just a thought, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Dia, Dia and I are working on it right now. Okay. I great. started the graphics. So, and yeah, stuff. she's got a great graphic. We're just going to come up with a name and then uh, 
you know, Dia said she'd help me monitor it. Uh, if anybody wanted to be a, an admin like Barb, if you wanted to help with that page, you know, it'd be cool. But that's like you said, where we're going to put let everybody put their auctions up there. Um, guys, I put uh, Dwayne's MSP auction, but I put the Facebook page because that's where you need to go to see the pictures that Sandy's going to put up of all the things that are going to be auctioned. I think people forget to go there sometimes. And then uh, I'm trying to grab his channel now unless somebody else has done it. Um, Barb, Barb's like kicking butt on these links, man. She's pretty fast on those. I know. She, okay. Same with the trolls, too. You guys are like faster than I am with the trolls. Uh, yes, that True Nation, guys, 911 is a troll. Um, I do not want him in here. He came in the other day asking if there were any single ladies in here. What right. a John. What a John Brown. Yeah. Is that what they're calling him now? Well, that's what Selena says. Uh, that's like a nice way of saying douchebag. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I try to keep it PG-13, you know. Right. Yeah. Does anybody have any Facebook auction page name ideas? Yeah, that would be cool. We could get some names, you know. Yeah. Jory Nurse says she has a benefit auction on Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. No, Sunday. Oh. Sunday. I'm sorry. I'm I'm blind. Ooh, oh. Lucy's got um wait, Barb, is that the name you want? Gamer laptop? The Lucy's got jewelry squad. That's pretty cool. Squat or squad? Squad. <laughs> oh, okay. Not, yeah. not like jewelry, pop a squat. <laughs> pop a squat and buy. <laughs> Just checking, guys. Just yeah, checking, you know. I'm old. I don't hear very well. <laughs> yeah, and Cindy, if you believe that, your, did, you, did Cindy get her channel up there? Or, uh, I'll get her channel up there. You guys, okay. you got to go Sunday at 4. That's uh, Eastern time. The benefit auction, she's going to have some cool pieces up there. Great. It's for Carol. Uh, oh, yeah. for Carol? Oh, cool. Okay, I was just going to ask, who is it for? Thank you. And then tomorrow on my channel at 5, before the MSP auction, which we're all going to be at, I'm interviewing Cindy Loves Jewelry. Cool. That'll be fun. That ought to be a that ought to be fun. Yep. Okay. So need to oop. Shoot. Oh, and isn't Barb coming back into the auction world? Does she have one Wednesday? Yes, I believe so. Doing the jewelry again. Oh, and um, uh, who's having one Monday afternoon? I'm uh, uh, Selena. That's Selena. Selena is having one. Yeah, guys, she's going to be uh, uh, auctioning off some of her homemade craft and stuff. She does some really nice. Nice stuff. Very creative lady. Barb said on Wednesday. What time, okay. Barb? So I can be there. Be there, be square. She said April's having one, too. Yep. When, See, that's, when's why, April? that's why I think we need a calendar, guys, because it's... April on Monday. I don't, she hasn't put the time yet. Oh, man. All these auctions are not enough time. Man, can I pay for with these auctions, guys? Can I pay with my EBT, my EBT card? <laughs> uh, 
dear. You know, I think the idea of the the page for the auctions for like it needs to be separated from Dwayne's because Dwayne's page, you know, is like all those pictures of all the goods and everything. You I don't I don't think we would want to clutter up that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And this is like a little group we got going on here where it's kind of like a what do they call it? Like the penny saver page, you know, where everybody would put their their things in. So it's kind of like our own little version of a classified. Layla, no, I'm not British. And Lucy's auctioning off some tamale. She doesn't have enough jewelry yet. <laughs> All right. I'll be there on them tamales. Heck yeah. Yeah, I would too. If I was, if you were closer. I think the Facebook page should just be like people's day and time. Yeah. Well, days. I kind of see like a regular calendar and then, you know, the, the, the uh, events, you know, in the little squares. I don't know. Yeah. That yeah. Maybe I can make a graphic of a calendar for that month and then people pick the, the days and the times and we could pencil right. them in and just keep updating the graphic. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad there's somebody on this team that knows how to do graphics. Oh, no kidding. Because if you had to count on me, no, oh, never happened. Well, three months later, maybe you'd get it. Yeah. Me, you know. Well, we know Dia's strong suit. It's not dishes, it's graphics. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what, old man. <laughs> you call an old man. You older than I am. Okay. Ooh. Well, point well taken. <laughs> Lynn says she can see a heart turquoise, Sandy. Yes, right there. I found one and pulled it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was reading the chat. You said pull out. That didn't sound good. <laughs> what did you pull out? I pulled out this oh. heart. Oh, that's, beautiful. that's beautiful. And I found I like a little the bear. bear. That bear would that be wicked good? on a money clue. We might Let me see that. that bear, Sandy. Put that bear up here really close. <laughs> I need to see that bear. Yeah, that needs to be on a money clip. Let me see. Let me um, do that. See if it'll focus. What's his name? Ubu, the camera? Come on, Ubu. Yeah. That's pretty. He's free. Yeah, he is pretty. I'm in love with the bear. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I uh I've got somewhere around here on my bench, if you can imagine. I Cupcake, explain to Lucy what sub is. All right. Well, Lucy, what a sub is, is you subscribe to a person's channel. Like the links that we've been putting up in there are YouTube channels. And then there's a little subscribe button on their channel. You click that, and then there's a bell. And that lets you know notifications, like if uh, yeah. Sandy does one of her auctions on Friday, or I do a video, or Thelma does a video, or Bob's, Barb's having an auction. And the other way to sub is if you're in the chat, you go next to the, to the right of the person's name, you'll see three dots. You click the th on the three dots and up pops a, a window and it says, go to channel. So that'll leave you here, but it'll take you up to an, it'll open up a new, a new window and it'll, uh, or tab and it'll take you to their channel and you subscribe. So we subscribe to everybody, even if they're not doing videos yet, because eventually they will like Bianca did Bianca, we got her to a, a hundred subs. She didn't do a video yet. And then she got some friend mail from Barb who's going on grumpy and she did a video and which was an awesome video, by the way, I love it. And I'll get, try to get that link in there real quick, but that's what we do. The community supports each other. We help each other grow. We support them, whether it's in auctions or whatever, we're just them type of people here. So I know that was long winded, but I hope it was uh, 
I didn't confuse you too much. Okay, so that's a bear that I haven't finished yet, but uh, I'm going to make a mold out of this one, and then um, on the in the middle here, I'm going to uh, inlay it. Pendant or ring? Um, it. I don't think it's too big for a ring, but I'm going to do a mold, mold out of it, so I can stick it on different things like a belt buckle or a um, maybe even a a bracelet. So anyway, that's that's my design of a bear, and we'll inlay that with some different stones and stuff. That's my favorite symbol is the bear. Mine too. He's according to a Indian shaman, he is my protector. Grumpy said, uh, "Barb said, make a brooch." Oh yeah. That too. Yep. Once I get the mold made of it, and and no two will be um, because I there's no way that I could inlay this the same on um, every every one. So they would still be unique, one of a kind um, pieces. Okay, what are we doing here? We got uh, okay, we got that stuff in the pickle. Um. Let's see, where did that other stone go? Okay, I cut this stone today Ooh. for a ring. Is that the same ribbon turquoise? That's it. Well, you're using that up like crazy, aren't you? I know, I just, oh, I just hope this guy is, is gonna be there at, at Tucson. Um, this year because uh, that's the only way I know to get a hold of him. So let's that's my get... favorite turquoise you've used so far. Is that ribbon turquoise? Oh, I, I love think it's it. really pretty. I'm, I'm in love with that stuff now. After after I cut these um, these earrings. I'm I'm hooked on this stuff, guys. I really am. <laughs> so if anybody wants to know my favorite turquoise, it is now the ribbon turquoise because I just think it looks cool. It's got a lot of um, you know character and stuff going on, and I just you know just like it. It reminds me of a like an over bird eye view of the land with a river running through it and the mountains yeah. and the field and stuff. Yeah. It just, uh, it's fun stuff to me. But, what a uh, way to describe that. What a description. Yep. Yeah. But it's, I it mean, looks like a piece of candy to me. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to the supply house today and getting some more bezel because it looks like, I'm just about out of this stuff. This is wow. You've really been going through it. Yeah, I've what got. What gauge uh, is that? Uh, it's probably about thirty-two, I think, and it's fine nine. Let's see. I've got that, and then we got um, some stuff called gallery wire. That's another bezel. Um, we got uh, the sawtooth bezel. This one's got the... That's my favorite setting right there. I don't know how to show you the... Anyway, we got... we got. You know, I'm not going to run out of bezel. I got um, probably an ounce of that. And then I've got... Um, got some more plain bezel, but it's... Uh, let me show you the difference why I like this better. It's um, it's smaller. Uh, let's see. That'd be kind of tough to bend over, wouldn't it? Well, wait a minute. I'm going in the wrong direction. Sorry. Um, we can see it. Yeah, it's just um, two different sizes. I really like the the taller bezel better. Um, yeah, obviously because I'm running through it like crazy. All right. What am I doing here? Where did hey, that Jaded, Jaded said, I've got a good idea. Would love a men's bracelet with the bear. Uh, with, the, with a big inlay bear? 
that would be cool. I think that'd be yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, that word, would be word of the day, dope. That'd be dope. dope. Okay. Cupcake, explain to everybody once again why your nickname is Cupcake. Well, B- Bianca did a really good job of it telling Thelma. Okay. Was I at CC's auction? That's another person who has, lady who has auctions, CC Collections. Yes, it was at CC's. Okay. And I was eating one of my granddaughter's birthday cupcakes, which, by the way, was a double chocolate cupcake, very dense and moist and delicious, and it had rainbow... Buttercream oh, don't say that in. word. What? Moist. It's moist. It, you know, don't you want cake moist? You want dry cake. I can't drink milk. So it had a lot of frosting on it. And I was trying to be very careful. And I was trying to eat it and bit at the same time. And I'm on my laptop. And I, and I was about to, like, lose all the frosting. And I got it all over my fingers. And I couldn't touch my keyboard. Because <laughs> I, I, it would have had sticky prints all over the keys, trying to bid, and and type, you know, and be snarky with everybody, and you know, and so I said, I can't type. I'm eating a cupcake right now, and then that uh, then Barbara, uh, Babsy, was it thirteen sixteen? I think is yeah, but Babsy, she said, oh, cupcake, and then it stuck. So now. Roland Picker has a superhero name, Cupcake. Hello, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Welcome. Thelma said we need some eagles, Sandy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I found an eagle the other day. I did, Thelma. It's just the head of an eagle. I think it's over on the other um, table. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, it, it's a it's a casting. It's pretty cool. I really like it. Yeah, guys, keep the ideas coming. You know, you guys are my muses. So I. Uh, hey, Sandy, look at the screen. I want you to make one of these guys. Uh, wait a minute. Let me click over on you because I can't see. Yet. Oh, a Thunderbird. You want a Thunderbird? Yes. That'd to match cool my sweater. Too. Okay. That would be cool, too. Well, guys, the sky's the limit, you know. We can do whatever. You guys have all the cool ideas. All I ever think about is food. <laughs> Wolf would be cool. Yep. We can probably do that. You know you're going to have to make a cat. Oh, God. It did not go where it wanted to. There we go. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, Lord. That is right, Delma. Yes, every biker worth his weight in Harley oil needs Eagle Jewelry for... Yep. Eagle Jewelry. Gotta have it. All right. Hang on just a second, guys. Just hang with me for a minute. Skulls are cool, too, but I think they're kind of overplayed a bit. Because they're like skulls and everything. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? That's right, Mike. I see him everywhere. I like the idea of that Thunderbird, though. I think that'd make a cool brooch. Cindy, Jory Nurse just mentioned that. I found that sweater um, at an estate sale this year. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Any good Jory finds? Yeah, it's got the Thunderbirds on both arms and on the front. Was there uh, any good jewelry finds at the estate sale? Um, no, not that one. Wow. Uh, 
find it. I we got some castings of some buffalo stuff. I like the head. Yeah. Look at this ring, guys. Ooh, this I is like nice. it. Is that carved? Well, it's a wax of an e eagle. This is what I um, do lost wax uh, casting. So I would cast this in uh, silver or gold. And then, uh, let me get that. And then, of course, we have to have a skull. Right? Yeah. We got yeah, a no, Viking just, skull. Yep. He needs some turquoise eyes. So, we got some some stuff. Thelma, uh, when we start casting, we got... Uh, you know, I could probably sit here in the shop. Oh, no, I thought that was it. Uh... I could probably sit here in the shop and show you stuff for eight hours a day for the next week. And still not show you everything I've got in the shop. Barb is wanting you to cast that eagle, for, uh, do it for the MSP auction. Oh, I don't know if I can get it done that quick. No. You know, I, guys, I've been busting ass and... Um, there's just so much I can do, and uh, we'll we'll do it. You know, the world isn't going to end after this MSP auction. I can always be on again. Thomas I think that her husband oh. said he'd take one of those eagle rings. Tell me the size. Thelma. What size does he wear? Did you hear that, Thomas? She needs to know your husband's size. Oh, she's saying we will wait, Sandy. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm going to start uh, casting him. I just need to make sure that I get the, uh, the right size before I cast it because I, I don't like to... Um, Size them after they're cast, if I can help it. So, she said yes. Looking it up. You know, it's not a commitment to buy or anything. Size 11. Okay, thank you. All right. She said thanks, Sandy. Sure. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty top. Okay, guys. Oh. Sorry. I'm stamping it. Please don't ask me again. <laughs> right I'm on. Stamping it. <laughs> uh, right on. You, you remembered. Yes, I know, but you guys need to remember <laughs> that I have stamped it. Hi, Gloria. Barb wants to know, Sandy, did you fix my ring? Yes. Let me try that again. Sandy, Barb wants to know, did you fix my ring? Yes, 
Yes, I did. But I'm I cannot send it out right this very instant. I wanted to get everything done and send it to you. So um, unless you just want me to send you that and the rest of the stuff later, let me know. Hey, Hetty. So have you decided on what size this uh, this ring is going to be? Uh, not yet. Love that striker. <laughs> uh, Barb said, yay, I can wear it. It's cool. I'll wait. Okay. We'll get this and we'll get the uh, uh I go where I wanted to. Let's see, there we go. Come on, run around there. Bianca, um, I don't have sexy in voice. I only have one one way of saying stuff. I can't make it sound sexier. I'll work on it though for you, Bianca. Oh God, Dia, you're gonna get me to do it, aren't you? <laughs> oh Lord. Yes, I am. Much I don't slower. have. I don't have the very white voice. <laughs> Say it like, damn, I love that strike. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll try it. Damn, I love that striker. <laughs> See, there you go. Oh, baby, I love that striker. <laughs> <laughs> what has my channel turned into, guys? Let me, let me spark your life with the striker. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we have gone from PG to, I don't know, what? <laughs> well, thank God we're finally over the spotted dick thing. God. Oh. <laughs> if I have to keep doing the striker thing in the Barry White voice, I'll get some music. As long as we don't have to hear about spotted dick anymore. <laughs> oh. For those of you that don't know about the spotted dick, Barb went to Europe and brought back some spotted dick pudding, and she was kind enough to send it to me, and we have all had a very good laugh over the spotted dick pudding. Oh, come on. Well, all these ladies are having fun at my expense about the, the way I said the striker thing. Uh-huh. Y'all well, need to calm down. <laughs> what did you expect, Mike? But I'm their brother. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. It's getting thick in here. Oh, yeah? Hey, David. My brother from another mother, my Irish brother, come in here and save my ass, please. <laughs> yep you guys are just going gaga for cocoa puffs there <laughs> okay what do we want to do on this one what 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 Okay, let's see. Uh, 
Hello, David. Uh, hi, David. Uh, he said, hello, everybody. What did I walk into here? <laughs> you don't want to know, David. Craziness. You don't want to know. So that um, uh, twisted embellishment there, you twisted some wire, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I wanted. Oh, Gloria, some, she doesn't need to hit the striker. I wanted some uh, half round, but I don't have it. I'm going to have to pick that up. To, but this will work. It should work. So then the only pieces you haven't finished yet for the MSP auction is the cross and then this ring, right? Uh, no, the men's bracelet. We still need um, we still need oh. a, a stone in that. So. Wow, you're going to be busy. Yeah. Well, this is Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Yeah. But you know, it's going to sneak up on you fast. Yeah, it already is. It already is. No, Lynn, I haven't seen I haven't seen that one. She says, have you guys ever watched Jackie Chan movie when Owen Wilson spits out the spotted dick? No. <laughs> of course, maybe I wasn't paying I'm attention go, either. I'm going to have to go watch that movie now. You know, uh, Dia's got a sexy voice. She could say that. The striker thing. Did she disappear on us? <laughs> she turned the mic off. Yeah. Uh, and her camera. I have my mouth full. Oh. oh. <laughs> Cupcakes? <clears throat> Pie. Oh, what kind? <laughs> Lemon. Oh. I'm not a lemon fan. Well, I have a pecan pie sitting over there, an oh, apple yeah. pie, a peach pie, a lemon oh, yeah. pie. Wow. I can't even see the rest of them. Goodness. We're all going to Dia's house for pie. Oh, man. Some of that peach and apple. Yeah. I know. I weigh 132 right now. I'm going to be like 160 something time I get done. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Lynn. That movie, Shanghai Noon. Oh, okay. Hello. Are you filming or anything? Yeah. Come on in. Put this in. Yeah. No, you're fine. No, you're fine, John. Go ahead. No. No. That's my neighbor, guys. We Hi. Hi. Oop, don't kill yourself on all this crap I got in here. Okay. So, wait a minute. Come here. Turn around. All right. That's my neighbor, guys. Say hi. We can't see hi. him. What? You hi. You can't see him? That's, no. that's him. Right okay, on. Legs. How's it okay. going? <laughs> Go ahead. Do your laundry. All right. <laughs> he helps me out a lot. 
in fact, he was on one of the first videos that we did uh, that bracelet. He was helping me. Hey, you don't have him doing your laundry, do you? No. I okay. tried. I tried to get him All to right. do my laundry, and he was right. No, good deal. We, us men got to stand our ground. There's some things we just shouldn't do. <laughs> you, you need to come wash my dishes. Yeah. <laughs> and there's uh, some things Dia needs to learn how to do. Hey, you leave me alone. <laughs> See, in this house, I, I just, we eat on paper plates. See, I can't, I can't do that. That's there's a lot no of dishes. garbage. There's no dishes to do, just right in the trash. Yeah, but I have to manually take my trash to the dump. Oh, you don't have uh, regular garbage people that come by and pick it up. No, I live out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, well. I don't even have a dishwasher. Well, that's obvious. <laughs> I'm giving you the bird. You just don't know it. Oh, I, I know it. I can feel it. Telepathy. And it's right up in my face. <laughs> and I would say that's probably a what, size nine. I don't even know. So this won't bother your... No, it won't bother them. Okay. The deal. Because I think I was doing laundry the other day where I was on. I just put a ring on and if it fits, I wear it. There you go. Got too much fun in there. Yeah. I know. We have fun. Why do you think I'm out here all this time? I don't know. I love her. <laughs> all right. Well, John seems pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Would you believe he's 75 years old? Oh, no. Yeah. No way. Yep. He sure is. He's the guy who uh, cuts my hair. He's the one that's, uh, uh, well, he, he went to cosmetology school, but he's also, uh, he's working as a barber right now. Cool. But yeah. Well, you tell him thank you for taking care of our Sandy. <laughs> he's the one that takes care of the dogs when, you know, I go in the hospital. and He just lives right next door in a, in a motor home. Did you just say guy. go to the hospital? Yeah. Uh, when I when I have to go, he uh, he comes over and takes care of the, the fur babies for me. I'm obsessed with your dogs. Uh, that's cool though that you, that you you got somebody that can do that for you. You know. Yeah. Nowadays, a lot of neighbors don't like doing stuff for their neighbors. They really don't. Well, there's only, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five people that live here on the property. So, you know, we all know each other and we all take care of whatever we can for each other. Well, now, now out of that five, are any of those the ones when we hear the guns going off? No. Okay, because uh, I thought you lived on like a trailer, small trailer park, and that it was the neighbor next door, you know, shooting no. at his neighbor. No. No, um, this was a trailer park at one time, uh, but uh, now it's just a dog training facility, and she has um, a few, um, you know, uh, spaces. This, I was this trailer that I'm in right now is a leftover of the the trailer park her dad used to have. Now, when you move to Utah, are you taking the trailer with you or it stays there? Uh, the fifth wheel is mine. This trailer I just rent. Oh, this trailer. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Bianca said, I have a small dishwasher, but I do my dishes most of the time by hand. I wonder how many of you all do that because um, Mama Chelly's got a dishwasher. She washes them by hand and then puts them 
in the dry dishwasher to dry. And I'm like, huh. why did you even buy a dishwasher? <laughs> you know, so I wonder how many of you guys uh, do that. And I, I didn't feel, know what you were. Go ahead. I feel bad because there's only two of us and we hardly ever cook. So we like get rid of a lot of leftovers and we have very few dishes. And I feel bad like running a whole water basin of water just for a few dishes. Yeah. So I normally yep. cook out of a cast iron skillet where you can just wipe it out, you know, put some yeah. oil in it and heat it back up and then put it back up there. Well, then, then that justifies the dishes we saw. No foul, mm -hmm. no penalty, you know. Right now I have two plates sitting over there, uh, a metal reusable coffee cup and one glass. <laughs> I'll rinse them off and just stick them right there. That's cool. Um, I was going to ask you what you were doing, Sandy. And then Layla said, Sandy, I'm so good in loop wiring. I see you are doing that now. So that's what you call loop wiring. Well, yeah, I guess you could call it that. Oh, it made it a little bit too long. But that's all right. So Nancy says, howdy, y'all. I've been seeing people talk about the MS. She put G instead of P auction. What is it and when is it? Well, why don't you tell her? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and tell her. You tell her. All right. Oh, no, here we go. And I'll try, and I'll just do it in my regular voice like this, okay? Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to mute you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nancy, what the MSP auction is, is Dwayne Hale and Heather Hale. And I think at the beginning of the time, it was uh, uh, Chris, the walking picker. They, Dwayne came up with this idea of showcasing other resellers' items, at, but letting them sell them on YouTube live. So what he did is he started the MSP auction, and resellers come around. Like, I've been on it. I think Thelma's been on it. Barb's been on it. A few other people have been on it. And what they do is you bring your items, and you go live on screen with him, and then you put up your item. It starts for a dollar, and he calls the auction. And then whoever in the chat who's been certified by Dwayne and Heather via email, real name, and YouTube name, or if you have a channel, they win. And then they send all that information to the reseller, and then they invoice you or bill you or however, and then you pay and you buy. So it's kind of like doing eBay, but it's live, you know, and uh, I, I like the format, and I think it works real great. Um, and... Did somebody put, Barb, did you put up his, uh, anybody put up his channel? There you um, go. Adam David did. just did. Hey, Adam. And Adam's got it in there too. Hey, oh, Adam, okay, glad you're here, brother. Just go over there to that YouTube channel, click on subscribe, and then uh, click the notification bell. It's every Saturday, unless something comes up uh, at uh, 7, I think it's 7 Central. And Adam, do you have the email uh Email address that uh, people need to use to uh, to get certified by Dwayne. Because he will not let you bid if he doesn't have your information. And uh, we saw when Casey, Keisha Treasures, was doing it last Saturday. We had a couple of trolls come in there trying to bid and muck up the works. And, uh, you know, Dwayne and Heather and then the, the, the mods are really tight on that. So it, they try to keep it a safe, fun place to, to bid and spend your money. And you pick up unusual items like this Sunday, or I mean, excuse me, this Saturday at seven, all the stuff that Sandy's made is going to be up on auction. And Adam's right. Cupcake likes it. And he karate chop. I'm going to be Kung Fu fighting everybody tomorrow. Karate chops will be a flying, but I warn anybody that's bidding, watch out for Anita foot. foot. Just watch out for Anita because she Anita has Fanita. Fanita. That's right. She has brass statues. She clobbered you over the head with. But it's all fun. I mean, you can you, people will sell like uh, I bought video games and sets, and I bought uh, jewelry and, and clothing, and you can buy all kinds of good stuff there. Thank you, Adam. Adam you said potential on. bidders must contact Dwayne if you haven't already. 
via the MSP auction chow at gmail.com with name, YouTube name, shipping address to be eligible to bid. Yeah, and the reason that they do that is in the very beginning, it was counting on the bidder to remember what they bought and what they owed, and it got kind of muddled up. So Heather stepped in, and she keeps – she maintains the email list for Dwayne, and she maintains who, who bought, what they bought, and the, how much they bought it for, and where it's going. And then she packages that all for Dwayne, and Dwayne sends that off to the seller. So it's a good thing. Ooh, Thelma's going to be on MSP auction December 1st. Oh, cool. Very good. We'll have to remember to keep promoting that. Yeah, I'll tell you guys, if you've not been to an auction when Thelma's done it, you you have no idea what you're missing because she brings it. She brings it. Well, everybody brings it, but what I mean by that is she brings the Harley stuff too. And she knows there's a lot of Harley collectors out there and the bidding gets crazy. But her, I mean, she's just like all the, all the rest of the resellers, good quality products. You know, uh, every now, uh, once in once in a while, or once in a blue moon, there's a dud, but for the most part, straight up good quality stuff. Uh, I thought I heard an echo, uh, Dia. You know what? Actually, Nancy, he's looking for more buyers. Sellers seem to be a plenty. It's the buyers. So, yeah, come on over there. Make sure you do that email, like, ju just so that, because they have to have it or you're not going to be able to bid, and, and just get it over to them. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you over there, Nancy. Sandy, can you explain the process you're doing right now for me? I am uh, cutting up um, some scrap silver to make balls to put on the piece. And I'm using a charcoal block because um, balls don't cause some charcoal. Did you carve out the ball shapes yourself? Um, well, basic, you, basically, you just take something and punch into it. Then sit a piece of silver over it. Oh, okay. I just, you know, I just make some, some holes so that the things don't run away. I'm over here taking notes. Uh -huh. Hey, Miss Raven. Hello, Raven. And she's right. Don't forget the thumbs up. Ooh, I love that striker. There yeah. you go. I'll work on it. Trust me. I love how that silver just balls up. How long have you had that piece of charcoal, Sandy? Oh, years. Probably at least 10 years to the other side yet, so. Pretty durable. Yeah. Right. Now, will you be uh, filing the bottoms on these like you did the, on the other one? Yeah, probably. Unless they're real tiny, I, I don't file the bottoms. Uh, Miss Raven said, pick one up and show us. Uh, 
after I quit. Yeah, uh, uh, and she's laughing. She's, uh, she's got the laughing my butt off emoji, so I think she's like uh -huh. the ball yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, after I clinch him, my dear. <laughs> Some of those have are some good sized balls. Some, have you ever picked up something thinking you quenched it and you didn't? Yes. So I'm not alone in that department then. I didn't didn't look at it very long. <laughs> How many of those balls have you dropped on the floor? Oh, well, I don't know. There's a bunch of them down there. In my shop in, in Colorado, I had... Uh, Rubies all over the floor, too. Well, Adam's giving a bolo out. Anyone looking for a good webcam, the Logitech 922X Pro is on sale for 50 bucks on Amazon. That's good. That is a good price. <laughs> Adam, is that refurbished or is that brand new? I mean, because usually Logitech, even if they refurbish a camera, it's, I mean, it's, you just can consider it new because they do, they do good work on the refurbs. And Sandy's flattening her balls now. That was for you, Miss Raven. Wow, Adam says that camera's brand new for 50 bucks. Wow. He saw it on a YouTube show. That's a good deal. You know, the Blue Yeti mic is a really good mic. I have one of those mics. I don't use it very much. Yeah, I, I wanted to get a Blue Yeti. I ended up with a Snowball. Aren't they made by the same company? Yes, they're both uh, made by the same company. Yeah, I left it in California. I think when we finally get the office set up or we'll be shooting videos, I might go ahead and get me a Yeti. Everybody seems to like them. Have you ever watched those ASMR videos? Um, I've stumbled on them a couple of times. Is that the mics they use? Um, a lot of them do when they start now and then they go to the, um, the something Dio ones that has two little ears on it. Uh -huh. Wow. Adam says that mic was 90 bucks. That's not bad. And he got a 15, supposed to get a $15 e-gift card. Well, I'll tell you, Amazon's really throwing it out there this year. Oh, and if you guys don't know, Adam and Anita have an awesome show every Wednesday. It rotates between his channel and Anita's. So if you want to learn about reselling, shipping, and sourcing. Then you need to go and subscribe to Anita and Adam. And get in over there because they do a show at 3 Eastern. Adam, you want to put up your Facebook group page, please? And Thelma says, we need about 20 people to hit the thumbs up under the screen. Turn it blue, y'all.
Hey, Selena. Selena's here. Hi, Selena. Uh, Selena's having an auction Monday. Um, what time was it, Selena? Was it 4 Eastern? That's right. Selena's got up there for Eastern. And you're going to be auctioning off your crafts, right? And some other items. And guys, I just posted up her channel. Go over there if you're new. Subscribe and come check out what she's got. And thank you, Adam, for adding uh, reselling rhythms with A and A Facebook group reselling. That guys is a good page. They put up bolos and all kinds of stuff. So get on over there and join that group. And don't forget to uh, to go to the Anita's or his page. Is, is it going to be on Anita's this coming Wednesday, Adam? God, you know, there's so, you know, Sandy, there's so many shows and so many auctions. I got to get, um, so I got to get like Siri to remind me to go, <laughs> to go watch these because there's so many of them. And I want to support everybody. It's, it's the, uh, you know, it's the time you, you bounce all over the place. Yeah. It's, uh, that's why I think we need that. Yeah. Facebook calendar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, D and I'll get that done. We'll get it up and then we'll start, uh, on the next video you do, we'll let people know and they'll tell them how to contact us and we'll get the, we'll get the calendar running. We'll get it going. Yeah. Cause I mean, I want to support, support you guys but um a lot of times i don't even know about them you know you know maybe what we could do too with the calendar we could put in an area also with it where like they could come in and they're going to do the auction they could come in and put their pictures like they do over on Dwayne's page yeah because it's be it's always good. nice to get a preview you know yeah Yeah, everybody's about this time of year, but I think everybody does it. You know, I mean, they're really stepping up on the auctions or they're posting or whatever because of the holidays. But basically, I think everybody here pretty much stays with it all year round. You know, Bianca, I, I could imagine it's really tough for anybody that lives like not in the U.S. with the time zones because like you guys, like when we go live, it's like nighttime for you. And then at night, it's like early morning. So, you know, like I don't even think like bum crack picker. I don't even think he sleeps. I don't think so either. Because every time somebody's live and I'm in there, he's there. Uh, you guys, Josie says Christmas contest has started. Remember, first prize is a jewelry jar. Wow. Oh, boy. And you know, Grant, uh, Josie's got some cool stuff, man. So you guys will be getting an awesome jar. Yeah, Layla, I know you're because uh, I don't even know what the time distance is there. I mean, Layla's also in the chats. And yeah. plus, think about that, too. She has a shop she makes jewelry so you see how intense it is here i know it's intense for her too and if you're not getting any sleep yeah
You know how you were saying, Sandy, that you would get up at three in the morning because yeah. you were afraid you would lose that design. Uh -huh. I, I think that's pretty much for anybody who's creative. Who has a creative mind, I could see them, whether they're, they do jewelry or they're a writer or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You wake up, my old man always used to tell me, keep a pad of paper and pencil by your bed. Because if you wake up in the middle of the night for some reason, you you got that thought in your head, write it down. Yeah. Because he used to be in radio so and do television. So I used to remember seeing the, the journal by the side of the bed. Uh -huh. I asked him what it was for, and that's what he told me it was for. Huh. Wow, Layla, it's 10.30 p.m. there in Egypt? Wow. That's like you're eight hours, uh, eight hours ahead. No, I think she's behind us. Is she behind us? Yeah. Is it Friday? Is it Thursday or Friday there, Layla? Yeah, I know. I understand. She says it's really difficult. She doesn't want to miss any of us. Lynn, you said twelve thirty-five. Where are you at? You? I thought you were in California. Adam, you use Alexa. You have an Alexa, and it you can make it remind you things. Hello, Lori. Did I miss did I miss Lori? She just came in, Mike. Creative Lori. Hey guys. Creative Lori, I gotta tell you, she's got a home decor oh, yeah. channel. But on Saturday, on that channel, she auctions off gems that are uh, would we say they are Sandy faceted, right? They're already cut. Yeah, they're faceted. Uh, really and, cool. Oh. And he's because he's a he's a, a jeweler also in designs jewelry. And I gotta tell you guys, I got a smashing deal on two beautiful amethysts. One was almost 10 carats. The other was eight. And I got Angie a red coral pendant while I was there. Nice. Yeah. And she's uh, got, uh, if you want cut gems, that's where you got to be. Lori, I just saw this on my bench. You'll appreciate this. The Tans Night. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I got that before down the. Um, I probably should just put it someplace else than just on my bench. Uh, I gotta put it in some, huh? So it don't get worst. Oh. Put it in here with another tanzanite. Okay. Now I bought I bought tanzanites um, at Tucson, and now, from what I understand, Tanzania will not let any ta tanzanite rough go out of the country. So they're con they're controlling the tanzanite. I love tanzanite. Love it. And I have Tanzanite rough. Just in case I run into somebody that can facet stones. I've got it. So, oh, that's what did she think about that? That's interesting, Lori. I didn't know that. She says, Mike, the gemstones you got are from mines that are closed. So they are, they're valuable. I hope you all, oh, my daughter's going to love them. That's cool. Yeah, we're going to take a little break. Just need a timeout here. We're going to save the stones. I'm thinking to have them done uh, set with gold instead of silver. So I'm glad I jumped on that when I did. I put Lori's channel up there, guys. Um, you might have to scroll up to get to it a little bit. It, uh, you guys definitely want to go over there and see what she's got. Because yeah, she's got she's got some gorgeous stuff, guys. 
at at really really good prices. Yes. Really um, good. Layla, put your um, channel in the chat for Nancy. She's asking about how she can join your auction in your website. The uh, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I don't. I'm 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 not I'm not afraid to let anybody know what I paid. I paid ninety dollars for. I paid. Well, actually, it would come to a total of like two fifteen for all three pieces. Wow. Yeah, I think it was like ninety for the for the nine carat. 80 for the eight carat. I think it was 35 for the, um, for the pendant. So yeah. And you know what, Lori, you're right. They were a nice, uh, deep purple. And I was watching this, um, appraiser on YouTube, learning how to appraise gems. And they said that the darker the stones, the gems color, the more valuable it is and the more desirable it is. Well, I was talking to, because amethyst is my birthstone. I was talking to a Russian um, uh, amethyst dealer in uh, Tucson. And he was saying uh, that uh, the amethysts that have the purple and um, the tint of red in it were the ones that were pricey. And they were, yeah. they were real pricey, but... You know, if the purple uh, bleeds over into that red, that really deep, oh, to die for. Yeah. Oh, I stand corrected. Thank you, Lori. That was 205. 90 and 80, and then the 35. Yeah. Still, though, they're good prices. Why does why is this tan, Tanzania or wherever it's at, Tanzanite? Why are mm -hmm. they why are they stopping? letting that stuff come out is there was it is it a political or is it they're like they're afraid they're running out or what greed it comes from one mine tanzanite comes from one mine and uh the tanzanian government as i understand you know this is just as i understand it guys um the tanzanian government had decided that people of the world were buying it rough and cutting it and they were making more money. So they decided that they were going to um, keep all of the rough, cut it themselves. Therefore they could make more stones. So, oh. but I mean, I've got some pieces of tanzanite about like that. Almost the size of a quarter. Fun stuff. So, because of greed, now prices are going to go up, and it's going to going to hurt oh, yeah. hurt us. And the deeper the the color on it, um, obviously, the more money that it's worth. I don't know if that showed up on camera or not, but um, oh, it did. That's a pretty deep colored uh, tanzanite, I think. That's probably the biggest one I have. I have a bunch of, you know, like, oh, four and five millimeter. I've got probably a hundred of those. But um, the big ones like that, that's, I don't think I have any more like that. I was thinking of making myself a ring with it. Can, can somebody put what? Layla's um, YouTube channel in the chat? She says she doesn't know how. Oh, let's see if I can get to it. They'll probably beat me to it. Everybody beats me to the to the things. Where? Well, no, they're fast, but that's good. That means they're good. They're good troll troll fighters too. Yep. No, I appreciate you guys in the in the chat helping everybody out and helping us put stuff in there and Why? wow look at that it was like me david and barb all at the same time i finally was quick on the draw wait and adam too uh -huh. okay mike came in first and then david and then barb and then adam <laughs> oh i win that means i get the cross oh oh really <laughs> oh and you I missed the striker okay here Rewind. Oh, you want the striker again? No. Okay. Yeah, rewind. We gotta see it though. All right, dear. 
I want to make everybody happy. This love affair has gone too far. Uh, I don't know if they're now with this new angle that I got. There we go. There's a striker. Oh, close up on the striker, Mike. Uh huh. Ooh, baby. I love that striker. <laughs> Oh, guys, this has just been turned into an X-rated show. <laughs> Hello, San Juana. Hey, San Juana. Glad you're here, sis. All right, there we go. Oh, wow. Layla says the new protocol of Africa, no precious metal or stones out. Oh, wow. Okay, well, she would probably be more um, informed about that than I, because I, you know, I'm just, I don't find these things out until I head to Tucson. Layla, are you going to Tucson? I think that would be outrageous if we met up in Tucson. We would have more fun. I'm, I'm interested in the fact that I know, well, Egypt's in Africa, correct? I did, I did go through geography pretty good. <laughs> so, so Layla, I'm curious. If that's the protocol of Africa, are you saying the continent as a whole or just certain uh, nations within or countries within? So is that the same in Egypt? No precious metal and stones out? She said, that's why I can't sell silver or gold out of Egypt unless I oh, take a permission. God. Unless she gets a permission and that's hard. That sucks. Oh, yeah. That, that ain't right. I'm telling you guys, when I was over there back in 93 or 93, 94, when I, or 93, when I did the, uh, restore hope, I bought a bunch, a bunch of gold and silver, like cartouches and jewelry and stuff. And, oh, I mean, there's some good craftsmen over there, good artists, artisans, and their work should be, should be sold out outside of Egypt. So I guess it's on the flip side, right? It's easier to get it in to the country than get it out of the country. This is going to be a huge statement ring, guys. Oh, you know who's going to be bidding on that. Oh. Doesn't That's Thelma like a big, ring? Yeah, doesn't Thelma like big rings? I think so. And Anita? Anita likes big rings. Yeah. Mary bought a big ring the first time, didn't she? Yeah. Well, I'll just be watching. <laughs> you think? Yeah, Nancy, are you talking about you talking about Lori's creative Lori's page? Nancy said, "Oh yes." <laughs> okay, here's the here's the link. Just put it up. Yeah, you guys don't want to miss that jewelry showcase. Oh man, you guys got to go. That's right, Selena. I, I, I'll get that link. C Cindy, it was a jewelry nurse that sent that. Uh, Selena. Layla said it's the continent as a whole. Wow. wow. I can't believe they've tightened it down like that. Well, yeah, I tell you, I, I don't know. With all the great jewel you have over there, I don't know why you're watching me. <laughs> I just, um, I'm a low end, I think. Uh, Listen to her. Yeah. 
I wish somebody uh, was there to throw something at you. <laughs> or your finger. <laughs> Guys, there's Selena's channel. I don't know the exact video. I think it was the one two days ago. She um she got these earrings from Cindy Jewelry Nurse, uh, uh, who's Jewelry Nurse, and they were like hooking big, man. I mean, like one of them, you could have hung it up in the window like a dream catcher. And she was putting them on, sporting them, man. They were huge ring earrings. I ain't never seen anything that big before. It was just the other day. Was it? Oh, God, man. I got to start. Um, I can tell I, oh, I can tell you what's said going on. Layla said it's the whole continent except countries ruled by a foreign nation. By a foreign country. Sorry. No. Okay, Cupcake. What was that icing you were talking about? I was thinking I'm going to have to start getting to sleep so I can get with it on all the videos. I watch so many videos while I'm working because, you know, I got Safari so I can do a pop out, like a picture in picture, so I don't miss anything. So I yeah, I did the same the thing on my phone. Right. I got the videos constantly going nonstop and I just, I lose track. It's just, my watch time is like huge. It's horrendous. But um, but it's all good. It's to support everybody. And Lori said it's because you're good, Sandy. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why you're so hard on yourself. No, I just... For real, man. She don't think she's beautiful. She always got something negative to say. Good God. You got 32 people or more in here watching you. Yeah, if we didn't like you, we wouldn't be here. I'd be over doing something else and eating cupcakes. <laughs> and working on my Barry White voice. Um, there you go. Guys, I put, oh, I spelt it nurse, an IRS. Well, what a dumb, dumb, dumb jewelry nurse. You guys will get it. Just click on that link. She's having an auction Sunday, benefit auction for Carol, and subscribe to her. She does great jewelry jar open-ins. She does giveaways. She does cooking stuff, too, so it's all cool. For real, Cindy? She says she saved, saved all my big ones for Selena. Should have seen the last ones. Made those look small. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, those earrings were freaking huge, man. They were like pipe. Dream points. catcher, yeah. God, That's she huge. even used she said, Oh, it can dub as a bracelet. She puts it on her arm. Her 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 hand fit through the earring. They were touching her collarbones. They were so big. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy stuff. I don't know how you ladies wear that stuff. Hey, Vanessa. I mean, you would think there would be, uh, when you're thinking of weight, and especially if it's a wire or a stud, you would think there's kind of like, isn't there like a weight limit on earlobes? Well, that's why I was asking them when I made that, those earrings the other day, you know, what, what kind of weight um, they used, you know, what was too heavy to put on your earlobes. Check so. you later, Adam. He's got to go do uh, eBay. Apparently, I guess the eBay uh, algorithm, Cassini isn't too happy with him. So how, how do you determine then, Sandy, whether to use a wire hook or a stud? What's the weight cutoff? Or is it by person? I, I wouldn't. I'm the wrong one to ask because, um, you know, I was putting those on French wires and Mary asked, him, asked me to change it to a, a stud. So would that be then just personal preference? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, because I, I personally don't wear like hoops. I wear like itty bitty thin 
gold hoops, and that's about it. And they don't weigh but like a half a gram, maybe. And my sister can wear extremely heavy ones, so. Okay. Let's uh, figure out. Wow. Sanwana so says, true, Cindy sent me the eight inch long earrings with feathers. And then mind you, I knew Selena would love them. So I sent them to my sissy. Eight inch long earrings. That's some freaking hooking earrings too, man. No kidding. All right. Sandy, so, do you wear earrings? Every once in a while I wear studs, you know, but I don't I don't wear dangly stuff. You know what? I I gotta ask this. Sandy, I know you create a lot of jewelry. Have you ever done any for like the body piercings? No. Anybody ask you to do a custom piece? Um, well, <laughs> somebody asked me to make a Prince Albert once. Oh. All right. All I know is Prince <laughs> Albert is tobacco. So clue me <laughs> in no. on what a Prince oh, Albert is. PM My me. mouth's shut. Tia, PM me what a Prince Albert is because all I know is we used to call I it. Want, say, just look got, it up. You got to see pictures. Do you got Prince Albert in a can? You know, type clean. Yeah, you might want to let them out. I mean, I don't. Um, no, you know Free Willy? Uh-huh. It's oh, a Free Willy. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell yes. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cupcake, I want you to get on the internet no, and look no, one up to see no. what it looks like. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. No, because just thinking about it, my toes are curling. No. <laughs> uh -uh. No, I've I've seen him go all the way up. Oh, <laughs> and and I did have one guy ask about making a um, C O C K ring in sterling. A what kind of ring? Uh, a free willy ring. Oh goes, my god! Goes Who on in their the, right. What yeah. guy in their right mind would do that? Well, hey Sandy, did he ask you to measure it first? Oh God! No, I'm sorry. Stop. I'm turning my I'm turning my headphones off. You guys are getting gross. No, he didn't. <laughs> That's sick. Stop it, Dia. I'm turning my headphones off. That. Uh... I'm just curious why someone want a custom piece made like that. Because. Um, they have them out there, but they're mainly in like stainless steel and uh, oh, not not silver. They want they wanted um, me to make them one in sterling. You're right. Mr. I, th I thought you told it meant like a full blown custom one. So. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Layla says body piercing must be surgical stainless steel. Other metals can induce severe allergy. Well, I guess these guys didn't know that. <laughs> All right. All right, Cindy, what do you mean? One with a small willy. That's why he wanted the <laughs> custom one. It was a small one. Oh, God. I walked right into that. Oh. See, that's why I asked if he wanted her to measure it. You know, oh, like... Sweet. Sweet Jesus, I'm just, oh, I don't need to be in here today. <laughs> uh, excuse me, you ask. No, I said, go ahead and send me the link. If I can make it, I'll make it. If not, <laughs> oh, baby, I love that striker. You're getting better. You're getting better. I'm working on it. I got that crackly nasal voice. <laughs> no, you don't. I sound like a, I don't even know what, someone said I was British and everything else. No, now. I said you had a redneck twangy radio voice. No, I forget who asked me earlier if I was British. I think Layla did, didn't she? I think so. Uh, Cup, cupcake is blushing again. Yes, she is. And I'm, <laughs> I'm getting, Josie's right. I'm getting into trouble. See, who's the troublemaker now? 
You guys. Mm -mm. I used to do all the poking and having fun and getting you guys all, you know, like brother does his sisters, and now it's the other way around. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. We'll probably get kicked off of uh, YouTube here. Well, thank God you don't rely on monetization, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they had pulled this down a long time ago. Yeah. Well, we're not saying nothing really bad. You just got to put the pieces together as a puzzle. Oh, uh, that ain't right, Sandy. You really think I'm getting them stirred up, Cindy? Let's see. Miss Raven yes. said, you asked the questions and you got the answers, Cupcake. Yeah, well, you know what, Miss Raven? It, it, it was, it took like a couple days ago and finally, or was it yesterday or day, no, it was day before. Uh, uh, Sandy finally had to show me what a free willy was because, uh, like I said, I thought it was the dang killer whale. <laughs> I told you how innocent I am, guys. I really am innocent. Mm -hmm. I'm pure and wholesome. Uh huh. Or sure. am I? Yeah. I got it on there. Tricky guys. I need to straighten it out. So flustered. Do you, you have to use? Does the solder, the flux, make it easier to melt it off and remove it? Uh, it just makes it easier to to move it. I just wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, let's see. Where is my. Okay. Where'd it go? It Everybody came floor. to listen to the entertainment. Yeah. Yes, they did. Oh, or did they? <laughs> So, boy, Lori, I bet you your dad's bench isn't as messy as this. <laughs> this is a mess. Gonna have to do something with it here. Let's see. Velvet Sunflowers here. Hi, Velvet. Hello, Mike. You missed it again. Oh, damn it. Um, I'll make up for it the next time. Well, I can't see it. It's stuck on you. How come? It's stuck on who? On you, on the chat. In, I mean, in the Google Hangout. Uh, um, Switching? All, all I see is you. I don't see Sandy. All I see is Sandy. Oh, now I see Sandy. Stuck on you. Uh, you know what? That made me think of uh, Lionel Richie. Stuck on you? Yeah, but he don't, uh, you know, the song, in the song, there's that word stuck on you. He don't have that very white voice, though. Patricia is at Peter Piper's Pizza guarding tokens. Wow, she's getting pizza. Not the food again, wow. dear God. Wow. One extreme to the next. Okay. I'm going to have to get up and get some pie now. I got to wait till the kids get back. Then I'm going to have some pie. But instead of eating the pecan and the cherry and the pumpkin, I'm going to have this pumpkin cheesecake that Angie made. What? Yeah, she made pumpkin cheese. My daughter made a pumpkin cheesecake. It is awesome. It sounds good. 
Yeah, it is. It's really good. Sandy, it says all we can, all they can see is me. All right. Why is it doing that? Because you're probably not locked on you. Mm, it's locked on me. Well, let me go watch the video. The all video I can feed. see is you in the video in the feed. Who, me? Uh, Sandy. Yeah, I'm watching I don't, the YouTube video and I see Sandy. She just put something in a bucket. Yeah, see, but I don't watch the video because it's time delayed. And well, I get I'm watching. They say they see me. I get messed up in the chat. So, or in the Google Hangout. So, in the Hangout end, I had to click on Sandy or else I was seeing you. Yeah, the other Mike said all we could see is me, but everybody else saying they're seeing you. He said he was hey, kidding. Hey, Mike, what's up? What's up, Mike? Glad you're here, brother. All that effort for kidding. <laughs> He said that I was kidding. Mm -hmm. Laugh out loud. Oh, um, Lori said, Sandy, your bench is well, well used like my dad's. Yeah. Uh, this, this bench has been around the world with me just about, I think. I bought it here in Albuquerque, and then it has moved all over the place. Is it wooden? Yeah. It's wooden. It has three drawers and a lap drawer. Makes me nervous. Why? Her saw in that like that. <laughs> Cupcake, everybody wants to know if you're combing your hair. No, I'm not. I won't be on camera tonight. <laughs> I'll comb my hair for tomorrow. Jewelry nurse says Vicki Porter is doing an auction with me on Sunday. I will try to put a preview of items I'm putting in the auction tonight or tomorrow.
Nostalgia Seeker is Sosie, right? Yes. Hi, Sosie. She's in the chat. Uh, so, Jewelry Nurse is going to, Cindy's going to put up that gray Monet, that gray Monet that she got. Um, Ooh. Yeah, I've never seen gray, and she's got a black one too. She showed that on my uh, on my show when I interviewed her. Never seen a black Monet either. So we got a couple spots that aren't down. So we'll grab them again. Okay, here it comes Mike. Oh, baby. I love that striker. <laughs> Wait till I get the music. The Barry White? Yeah, I'm going to find a Barry White little ditty for about four seconds. Try to play it in the background next time. I can't help it, guys. I almost blew up with a big lighter trying to light a torch. We didn't have strikers like that. Thelma says, looking so awesome, Sandy. That's looking Thank so you. awesome. It is. It's looking nice. <laughs> Vanessa. Mike, last night when you weren't here, I said, gee, I always expect Mike to say, oh, I love that striker. Yeah. I'll work on it. I can, I'll see if I can get my voice as deep as Barry's. You're going to I mean, have to record you saying that so I can play it when you're not here. I mean, who who doesn't love listening to the music of the Doctor of Love? Yeah. There we go. I think we got it now. Make sure we got it down. All right, All right Lori. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. You have fun. Thanks for stopping in, Lori. All right, so now let's see. Let me hit it on the grinder for a second. Of my 
That's going to be a statement piece. Oh, that looks nice. All right. Now, what size are we going to make it here, guys? Let's... Eight and a half. <laughs> Really? Just saying. Just saying, huh? Gee, let me guess who's got eight and a half. Yeah. A size. lot of women. Yeah. So that cuts my odds down. <laughs> what size are you, Mike? I don't know. I've never measured. <laughs> I'm a 10. Vanessa right. said not a size five. It will take up my whole entire finger. <laughs> I like that ruler. Yeah, that comes. Well, you didn't say it. You didn't say it, sexy. Come on, dear. You can say it's sexy. If you can make me say it's sexy, you can say only it. on the tweezers. But I no, can't say that no, every you time. Said, you said the the you said the the ruler too. You should okay. you can say it. Come on. Oh, I love that ruler. Almost, <laughs> guys. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Break here. Free Willy. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. I think you say it's sexier with the striker. Yeah. Well, that's because I had an intimate relationship with my torch when it caught me on fire one day. <laughs> I have singed all the arm hairs off my poor little arms with the, a torch. Well, I burnt pants up completely, caught a pair of coveralls on fire. When I arc welded, I got slagged down my boot, couldn't get it off fast enough. So I lost a pair of socks. Ouch. Yeah. I mean, I think I've had just about every body part burn. Plus, I got shocked using the arc welder. Oh. Yeah. That'd be nasty. Yeah. I got, got grounded. Oh. Ooh, I love that striker. <laughs> Delma said she played very white on an eight track in her 79 Camel. Right on. <laughs> I love them eight tracks. Right when the song gets to the best part, you get that clunk. And then it continues playing it. You're going to have a split band on the ring? Yep. Oh, wow. Oh. I've never seen that. <clears throat> yes, I am. All right. There's the tweezers. I ain't doing all that now. Only you can do that. No. Okay, I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my Dia impersonation. Ew, I love them tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh wait, wait, wait. I gotta put the twang in it. Ew. Uh, I love uh, them tweezers. Oh dear. Whoa, <laughs> Vanessa. She says, I tried to iron a collar down and it said iron my neck. When it's, I, isn't that why they have ironing boards? I mean, I'm not being <laughs> funny. I mean, I've never thought you would try to iron a shirt. You would wear. That's only something I do. I've done that before with the flat iron you use for your hair. I ironed my collar down with it. Okay. I got to do a bum crack one then, too. Ah, bloody hell. Sandy's pounding her wood. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're all right, Vanessa. I did try to steam a shirt once when I was wearing it, 
that burns just like an iron. <laughs> so I'm going to do impersonations of you, Dia, and then impersonations of Bumcrack Picker when he's not here. I can't wait until you start walking. Me neither, because you don't even know what the plan is. I'm going to put my foot so far up your butt, you're going to go to the hospital. Well, I know my way around a hospital, so no problem. As long as they have good food, I'm okay. Oh, the cello rocks. I like their peaches in a cup. Those are okay, too. So do you like the pliers, Dia, or is it just the tweezers and the ruler? Just those tweezers mainly. They're so big. Or is it the other tweezers when Sandy was holding her balls? <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, I'm on a roll. Holy smokes, guys. You are too. Oh, much. Jennifer! Jennifer, I'll bet you. I'll bet you sound wonderful. <laughs> come on here, and we could. You know what you should do, Sandy? You should have other people come on and do their things that, like, they love, like, you know, um, like Dia does. Ew! I love them tweezers. You know, type thing. <laughs> and, and then you could have Barb come on. Oh, I love that turquoise. I'm trying oh my to God, sound like you sounded terrible. Well, I'm trying to sound like Barb. I just, Barb's hard to impersonate. You make me sound like Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson? <laughs> I'll work on it. But you can have people come on and they could say all the things they love. Uh -huh. And then we could capture the sound and create a, a Sandy making jewelry best hit. Oh, dear. You guys just have way too much time on your hands. Rather, rather spend it with you than anywhere else. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I, I got the husband in the, the room, the dog under my feet, the cat on the table, and watching Sandy. And yeah. if Mike's hearing this, he's probably going, what the hell is going on? He just laughing every now and then. Your husband says you sound like a ten year old. Apparently, I sound like a British redneck. <laughs> With a little bit of Willie Nelson. Yeah. Hey, CC. Sandy, Vanessa wants to know if she sounds like a 10 year old. Uh, no, she does not. No, far from it. Uh, nope. Hey, Sandy, I see you got some extra balls up there on the table. You going to do anything with them? <laughs> yes, Mike. I will do something with them. No, I mean, is that for like you're going to put those on the on the money clip or? I, I don't know. When I when I make balls, I usually try to make a bunch and shut up. Just shut up. You really got me into that, didn't you? Cannot believe I fell Not, for that. It was unintentional. <laughs> Cannot believe I it, fell for that. It was it was <laughs> unintentional. Uh, uh, it was unintentional, or was it? Uh -huh. Yeah. Or was it? All right, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> 
You know what? I like it when Dia says it. Or what was I? it? Or am I? Or is it? Do I really sound like that? You need yeah, to watch this really video back. Like yeah. No, you're fine. I'm messing with you, sis. Thelma wants to know what uh, have you decided what size is the cross ring? Um Yeah, I think we're going to go with a what is it? 7. Uh, eight between, and a half. Yeah, it's right out at 8 and a half. Yes. Yeah, right out of eight and a half. Wow, that's a cool band. Sandy, you're so creative. <laughs> Cece says she's having another auction tomorrow at some time. Uh, it's just that I've been doing it for a long time, and I have a lot of a lot of weapons in my arsenal, I guess. A lot of tricks up your sleeve. Yeah, and all those other cliches. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to do the striker in Lynn's voice. Not Lynn's, Please. Tia's voice. Excuse me, Tia's voice. Oh, God. Do it in Vanessa. Oh, I love that striker. Baby. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, Sometimes see, see. you make me wonder what I've gotten myself into. You got yourself into a fun time. You know what it is. Hey, CC, just don't make it at five because that's where my show is. I want you there so you can ask uh, Cindy Loves Drew or Cindy Love and you can ask her some questions. Thelma said it sounds good. The largest spring size she can wear is an eight. Oh, so that means Thelma's not bidding. Hmm. I might still put have some a chance. tape on it. I might still. No, don't encourage me. <laughs> oh, yes. Stop it. Always encourage the ladies. Come oh, on. Oh, you're cutting down my odds. <sighs> Ready to bid that bad boy up, she said. Oh, Thelma, don't you dare. Please don't. Don't. <laughs> Okay, I'm telling you, it is a conspiracy. Oh, wait, we missed it. Ooh, I love them tweezers. <laughs> them tweezers rock my world. Uh, oh, that's quit making awesome, me laugh Sandy. before I put the mute on, boy. That is awesome, Sandy. I love the the swirly things. Yeah. And now, go into it. Look at all them balls. Yeah. Uh, let me stick it in the pickle and then we'll get it cleaned up. And, and you know what? I've noticed when Tanny just throws her balls up on the table, she's more creative. That's very true. You Tanny, just leave just, your balls there. Sometimes right. you just got to let your balls loose, you know, <laughs> and then you can think. <laughs> and Sandy is good at that. Oh, oh CC, CC, tomorrow, that's, that's a really tight schedule because I do my show at 5 Central. It usually runs, I try to end it by around 6.15, 6.30 to give everybody a chance to have, to grab some food because at 7 o'clock, Dwayne's MSP auction starts. But you know what? Don't worry about my show. Go ahead and do your, uh, go ahead and do your auction. I mean... Gosh, lately, you can't help it. Everybody's going to overlap anyway. It's just I don't want to overlap on, on, on Saturday with the MSP because Sandy's putting all this stuff up. Yeah, I think Dwayne should be a, a free day. 
Unless it's before his or after. Well, yeah, like Creative Lori does her showcase at one. Uh, uh, Pacific. Going to the buffer. He does it at one Pacific. It's just getting, you know, she's right. We need that calendar. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No, what I'm saying, it'll be easier to keep a track of because, like, I'm lost. I know, like, there's, there's, uh, is there one tonight? I know Sandy's not having an auction tonight because of tomorrow. So, does anybody know if there's another auction tonight anywhere else? I'm thinking about that Facebook page, just keeping that calendar pinned to the top, and I'll go yeah. in and just change the, yeah. the dates out on the, the calendar picture itself, and then everybody can post down below when their time is. Yeah. And, and somebody can let them know, hey, it's conflicting with this at this time. Yeah. Um, but you need to send me a link or to something that's a timestamp converter. Oh, I'll have to find one. Maybe James knows where to get something like that. Because I don't, I don't know how to do that. Oh, and remember, we talked about the uh, how the group's going to let people in. I want to wait till Sandy hears this to see if she agrees. Yeah, see, and even Cece's like, you got Sandy Jewelry Nurses Auction Sunday, the benefit auction, and Monday is April having an auction, or no? And then, or is it Tuesday? Selena. But Selena's Monday is Tuesday. Casey's having an auction. I think Casey's having an auction sometime next week. Barb's doing jewelry auction Wednesday. So I mean, there the the days are all in there. Plus, you know, you don't want to miss other people like, and that's the problem with this scheduling stuff. Because like Thelma goes live, and Thelma's always got good stuff. Uh, jewelry nurse goes live, opens up the jars, you know. I mean, everybody's got something going on, and I just hate missing all of it. I would really just like to know the auction times and stuff rather yeah. than the... Yeah, uh, I'm saying that that might help. The calendar with the auction might help to be able to make let people catch their other people they like watching. Yeah. But then they know when they got to be there. Yeah, I would rather the calendar just be strictly for the auctions instead of uh, other lives so we can see everybody's auctions. What's that blue thing back there, Mike? A blue thing. You, you know what? I've been it. meaning to ask her that. I have no idea what that is. But it looks like that might be a bag of Epsom salts there. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask her what that is. Yeah, and Thelma's right. Anybody you're sub to... And you want to make sure you see what they're doing, whether it's auctions or jewelry jar opens or thrifting finds or Dollar Tree hauls or whatever. Hit that notification bell. Um, but I noticed lately sometimes uh, YouTube's real glitchy with that notification bell. Yes, they are. YouTube's going through something, so I don't know what's going on. but Like, I would hate for it to, to miss someone's auction because it's double booked which is going to happen regardless but mm -hmm. at least we can try to eliminate it as much as possible yeah you know what cc it might not be a bad idea to do your auction tonight because with not sandy having her one on friday people are going to be chosen for an auction you know they're going to want that time slot filled because they're used to coming at seven central and they're going to be chosen for something so might be a good might be a good time to do it. I think she's gonna though uh D I think she is gonna do was like yesterday I think I heard her say she was gonna do a uh after Chris or after the auction or whatever, she was gonna start doing uh she's gonna take us all through the shop and she was gonna clean it and sort it out and organize it. We were all gonna be part of that. So, yeah, after the MSP. Yeah. So I think um, I think that that might be a good time, too, for her to explain what each piece is and what it does. 
Uh, Vanessa, what do you think? What do you think YouTube is doing, or why? You know what, Vanessa? I don't know, but I know that when they started um, making a certain requirement for amount of subs and viewing hours to get monetized, I noticed that like now they've messed with the gamers, and I think it's just whoa. I think it's just them wanting to control what's being seen by by the searches and what they feel is relevant. And I think that's what it is. Uh, my poor eardrums. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I almost killed myself. <laughs> you okay? What'd you do? Literally. Almost killed myself. Are you, are you okay? Sandy, Sandy, point the camera to you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. What happened? Oh, shit. Uh, I <clears throat> told him to this cross with a uh, with a towel. And the oh my god! Grab the towel. Oh my god, Sandy. Yep. Yep, guys. That's about the closest that I've come to really getting really getting hurt. <laughs> oh man! And you're you okay. Sure, you're all right. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. It didn't sound good at all. Nope. Yeah. Wow. That's right, Thelma. It's just like Facebook. They feed you what you respond to and trash the rest. And I can tell you, YouTube is really bad about it. I accidentally click on a video and like it's somebody I, I'm trying to, I don't like somebody I'm not subscribed to and they're in the feed and I, I click on it for some reason. The one time you watch it, they pound your, they pound your page with those videos to go watch. They, they sure do. I started they, watching funny cat ones and now I can't even get rid of them. Yeah, or I watch Batman Dad, which is, he's funny, he's hilarious, but I don't want to see him all the time. Oh, what she did, she was holding the cross with a towel, and the towel got picked up by the grinder. And it, I can only imagine it pulled her hand in toward the grinder. Um, we had a guy, when I worked at the dealership, the boss told everybody, you got hair that's going over your shoulder, put it up in a ponytail, and um, or and then you know how you wear your baseball cap, yeah. You you slide it back through the little snapback part, so it's yeah. up and out of the way. And uh, I had this one guy, the brake lathe was by my by my stall, and uh, he went up there to set up a set of rotors to cut. And I looked at him and I said, "Dude, your hair's not put up." And he's like, "Don't worry about me." And the next thing I know, he's screaming. And I'm over there with a knife trying to cut his hair loose. He got it caught in the, it got caught in the, in, in the inside of the, the rotor while it was turning. And it started pulling oh. him into the, it started pulling him into the machine. Mm -mm. Oh my yeah. My friend, my friend's dad ripped his whole hand off on a, a pressing machine that oh, used for like newspapers. He was shoving the paper in it. It got jammed. He stuck his hand in there. Uh -huh. It pulled his hand through from his sweater he was wearing, smashed his hand completely off. Wow. I mean, that's why they, being a mechanic, they teach you hair up, no rings, no loose yeah. necklace. Yeah, no jewelry you, at all. And you roll your sleeves up or you wear short sleeves. Unless you're welding. Then you can wear long sleeves and they advise it. But, yeah. I'll, I'll ask her... Um, We'll see. We'll see, Jennifer. She's coming. We'll see. Hey, Kathy. We'll see. She's all right. Yeah, Sherry. Some of us have her address if we need it. You know what, Cece? That Facebook does the same thing. You make one comment on on somebody's uh, post, and the next thing you know, you're seeing that stuff all the time. And yet, the ones you want to see your friends you want to get notified, you don't get those. 
Hey, you know, Cupcake, it, I'm, I'm grateful that Sandy does do this live just in case, you know, <laughs> knock on wood. Yeah, look, everybody wants to know you're all right, Sandy. Show yeah, I'm okay. Digits. Okay. Show us all 10 all, digits. All my fingers are here and everything, but. And somebody made a good suggestion. We need to know your address or whatever. So in case something happens while we're watching live, yeah, we can call and get you some help. Or like your neighbor's phone number or something. Yeah. Is he home all the time? Um, not really. He goes to school and he works. Uh, but he would know, you know, to... That, that was as close as I've come to really... Boy, look at all these safety tips coming up here. Oh, I know, guys. I know. Vanessa says that that's why my husband won't wear rings at work. His friend had his finger pulled off. I saw that when a guy jumping off a deuce and a half got his pinky mm. ring caught in a railing and it ripped it completely off. Yep. Um, yeah. I'm glad you're okay, Sandy. Yes, Thank most you. definitely. I mean, we were freaking out. Uh, so was I. <laughs> Well, Probably Lynn thousands says, of times more than we were. Yeah. And Lynn says, don't work on your car with the keys in the ignition. I suppose that can be quite frightening. Yeah. My husband used to have this old truck, y'all. It would die in the middle of an intersection. We were going down the interstate, and it died right in the middle of the interstate. Not. Yeah, but the worst kind is when you got to start it with a screwdriver and you forget to take it out of gear if you got a standard. Uh, yeah, I I have had to take get my diesel truck started that way. Got crawl underneath it and and uh, take a screwdriver to the starter. Done. You know what, Sandy, everybody's saying, just take a break. Yeah, let me wash my hands, guys, and I'll, and I'll take a time out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Vanessa said, don't iron your skin. Yeah, yeah. Remember, she had the, uh, the collar incident with the iron? Mm-hmm. All right, Todd. We'll see you later, brother. Hope you come back in time to see the some of the stuff finished. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, I used to hate OSHA, you know, they'd come down to the shop and, and always thought, man, they're always looking for something to write you up on. But, you know, there's a reason for it, you know, it's to make sure you're practicing good safety, you know, work habits. And it's important. You need to. It's like uh, when she was over there, remember when she was over there, uh, was she polishing or cutting the stone and all them extension cords? Yeah, the other day, I think she was yeah. polishing them on that thing. I, I'd be, see, that to me, you get rode up on that. We would get rode up on that, like, real easy. Running, running multiple but that, cords. That's how one. my basement is, too, though. Everything's plugged up to each other, and. <sighs> yeah, but I'm sure Michael well, throw in a, uh, I'm sure Michael throw in a, in a, uh, another line or an extra, you know, a, a higher grade circuit breaker. You mean yeah. I will? Okay, you will. <laughs> That's because you love to do electrical. Oh, geez. Yeah, we have like 10 fire extinguishers downstairs, so. Oh, uh, Velvet says timeouts are one minute per age. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we can afford that, but. Uh, just take a break. Yeah, we could talk about something else, like your puppies. Oh, she wants to know what that blue machine is behind you. Yeah, the, right over your your uh, right shoulder. That blue what machine is that? right there. Yeah, that, that's my vacuum caster. That's what I use to uh, uh, cast silver and gold. Yep. Are you going to do that one day on a video so we can see the process? Oh, yeah. 
we're going to go through the whole casting process. Uh, I see a clear hose. Is it like air in it or something? It's back. Does it suck the air out? It sucks okay. the air through the um, through the investment. But we'll get to that. Yeah, we're going to go through, um, you know, uh, screwing up the, the uh, rings and investing it and then burning it out and take you through the whole process. Right on. I'm surprised you're not wearing Kiss My Grits. Yeah, it should be. Uh, I don't even, I think it's over in the house. I think I left it in the house. I was just saying that because you have your blue glasses on today. I noticed. Yes, I do. Somehow my, my uh, purple glasses have a scratch down the middle of them. I don't know how I did that. But it's right where I look through them. Of course, you know, it couldn't be a scratch someplace else. Yeah, this is going to turn out nice, I think. Ew, I love them tweezers. <laughs> I'm nailing it down, Dia. I'm starting to sound like you. I'm nailing it down. If I sound like that, let me jump off a cliff. I thought it was these tweezers that you liked. The big ones. Are those the biggest ones? Well, I mean. You I've have got... some big ones. Hey, got... bum crack. Look at them. I love some big tweezers. Oh, my. Yep, that's how you sound. Bum crack said, uh, he said, don't, uh, don't ask a woman in this country to talk about her puppies or she'll slap you across the face and you'll get arrested. Whoa. Seriously, bum crack. Come on now. No, uh, puppies must mean something different in uh I think I think the uh lady lumps on the top part. Oh. What time CC? CC says she's going to do auction tonight to fill the slot since you're not going to be there for auction. Oh, okay. Cuz I told her people are going to be Jones in around 7 o'clock. Yeah. For an auction. Um and bump crack, you missed it. I impersonated you while Sandy was pounding her wood. You'd have been proud of me. Do it again. Bloody hell. Sandy's pounding her wood. <laughs> and she's doing a crack a fine job. A crack and fine job. Bloody hell. At least it ain't any of this spotted dick. And while you're at it, free Willie and your balls. <laughs> oh, bollocks. He just covered everything, didn't he? I'm trying to. <laughs> Goodness. You forgot the tweezers and the striker. I haven't had lunch yet. It's, what can I say? Um, my blood sugar's messed up. Sure. I'm still working on trying to get breakfast. Bye-bye, Cindy. We'll see you later, jewelry nurse. Too late for that. See you, Cindy. Thanks for stopping in. You didn't eat nothing today, Sandy? Not yet. Oh, girl, you need to be eating. You don't want your blood sugar going funny. Vanessa said the puppies are just what you think, the mammies. <laughs> the mammaries, I'm sorry. What the hell is that? Lady lumps on the top half. Oh, boobies. <laughs> yeah, boobies. <laughs> I was trying to be polite. Jesus. Well, that is polite. That's polite. I could have said tatas. <laughs> tata. Tata for now. Tata, yeah. Tata for now. Dear. She shows going downhill. I guess. hang low. Do you want them to the floor? Thelma says, go eat, Sandy. Uh, maybe I will. I don't know. Just have a mukbang. I think that's how you pronounce that. Yeah. 
Yeah, mukbang. That's right. And it's not mukbang. It's mukbang. Yeah. And then you pick up more subs. I need her to eat some of those uh, pepper things she's talking about ordering the other night. Oh, yeah. The chili rellenos. Yes. I need to see what that looks like. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I will go over there. Thank you, bum crack, for the comment. He said that was quite a good impression. Blimey, I got a compliment and not a, a kick in the knees. There you go. You missed your opportunity, bum crack. Yep. I'm going to start calling him Ashley. <laughs> Very popular English man's name over there, Ashley. Oh, say it again. It sounded so sexy. Ashley. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, okay, now I'm going to do the, the DM per se. Ashley. That is not sexy. But it sounds like you. You sound like Willie Nelson. Oh, well, I don't think so. <laughs> Cece says his, uh, my son called him his pillows when he was little. <laughs> I could see that. Lynn's right, too. Even if she had a snack, that would be at least something. I told her she needed to get a fridge, and she said she had one out there. Yeah, yeah CC 7 Central, because I think when Sandy does them on Friday, I get the notice it's 7 Central because of where I'm at in Texas. So, yeah, that would be a good time. People will be jonesing about then for an auction. What do you mean, Barb? It doesn't sound like her. It sounds like Dia. I need you to listen to back how you say say that you sound like Willie Nelson. One more. Oh, Julia says one more thing. Badge check in won my 500 sub giveaway. No idea how to get a hold of. If anyone sees in chat, let her know she needs to. Okay, we'll let her know. All right, answer bum crack. He wants to know, Ashley isn't that popular. Where did you get that information? It's not? Probably got it from false news. Probably. I'll be there, CC, at 7 for sure. You'll still always be Ashley to me now. So now you're Ashley bum crack. See? If you, I say, feel if you say it fast, it sounds like he has an Ashley bum crack. <laughs> Oh, see, she's making fun of your name. I was trying to do a proper impersonation to show the <laughs> respect that I have for you, bum crack. Us brothers got to stick together. That was funny. You know that was funny. I, no, because I'm trying to say it fast in my head, and it's not coming out right. You're not saying uh, it fast enough. I'm not, I'm obviously, my brain's not moving that fast right now. Bumcrack needs to come on here and do commentary with you. We could alternate hosts. I think that'd be so cool. We had uh, David, the car boot picker, in the other day, and he barely said anything. I know. Dave is such a cool guy, man. I watch his videos. He does these, um, uh, goes to these car boot sales, and he picks up stuff like the video games, and he does real good with them. I think he does them on eBay, and they do like their local, their local, uh, their local apps. And, I think uh, he, he just, came uh, on. I think he came on to see my dirty dishes, but my camera is pointing the opposite direction. Oh uh, well. <laughs> Maybe I can do a screen capture and I'll put that on my Facebook page. I'm going to unfriend you. No, you won't. No, I won't. You don't need to speak American. I'm crack. It's English. We all speak English. You just speak proper. Or like, where are you at, bum, bum crack? Where are you at in England, in the UK? Because I know they don't, they have like different dialects for different areas, right? Like if you're born, I heard somebody say, if you were born within the sound of the bells, you're Cockney. And then there's like the Liverpool people and all that. So 
All the young women were ooing and aahing at David to laugh out loud. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a nice guy, man. I like him. Hey, my, Barb. Him, him and Bumcracker, my brother's from another mother. Hey, Barbara. Thanksgiving was awesome. How was yours? Newcastle upon Tyne. Mm -hmm. Up in the northeast. How do you say that middle word? Uh, G or I don't know. I would. Phonetically spell that out, bum cracker. Bum cracker. <laughs> bum cracker. Now you're a cracker, man. BCP, you ain't getting no break with Tina today. You're an Ashley. You're an Ashley bum crack, and then you're a bum cracker, brother. I'm the only one that represented you, like a brother should. I, I stood up for you, man. I knew you wanted to comment about Sandy pounding her wood. So I tried to do it to represent you well. And now Tia is making fun of you, calling you a bum cracker. What are you going to do about it, brother? I, think I you read come his up. name really fast. He just came out bum cracker. Bum cracker. And what, what, what kind? Was that, would that be Graham or Saltine? I mean, let's take it further. Where have you guys gone since I went <laughs> back there? My goodness. We're going to call him a salty. He seems pretty salty. <laughs> Just kidding. Pretty salty. There, oh, now bum, bum crack. She's, she's a total insult. Free salty. Ah, uh, crap. Uh-oh, what happened? Stone broke. Oh, my God. The stone broke. Oh, see it? Son of a I, gun. I got an idea. How about you polish it down some? Why don't you cut it in half? Wait, wait. Why don't you cut it in half and find another stone that complements it? Like how you know you made um, the ring you're wearing. Or like the, yeah, or like how you made Anita's ring with the coral and the opal. I'm sure you've got some, another stone that's just as beautiful that would complement that one. She's a looking. Oh, I love the BBC shows, man. I love Benny Hill. I love watching the old stuff when I was over there. Bumcrack oh, said he'll let me off just this once. Hey, Bumcrack, I think you need to come on here, man. And let people, you know, converse with you and talk. And, and then you can do an impersonation of Dia like I've been doing all night, which I think is spot on, quite honestly. You sound like Willie Nelson. Mm. Yes, I asked I wanna, him his, I, Go ahead. I asked him what his name was the other day, and he said he wouldn't tell me because nobody would call him bum crack no more. So really she sad. calls him at, 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 and uh, was it? And Ashley, Ashley, uh, San Juana. That's the only way to get the uh, Benny Hill. Now is you got to get him on the uh, DVD. I love watching third. What? Couple redo their. I don't know what that says. Uh, I'm trying to remember the show. God, there were so many. They're sitcoms. Um, hi, Kim. Kim's here. <clears throat> yes, see, Bianca's right. Tell him, Mike, we want to see the mysterious bum crack. Not the bum cracker, the bum crack. And then he can come in and do, um, he can come in and do his sexy voice, like do the um, Rod Stewart. You know when he's when the striker or when Sandy's pounding the wood. Over I there. think we're distracting Sandy. She's trying to concentrate on that big rock. No, no that is a know, big piece of rock. Somebody did make a suggestion in here. I can't remember who it was. Sandy, you should snack. Have a snack, even if it's in the shop. 
We don't mind something. watching you eat. No. Oh, the older women cleaning people's houses. I think I remember that show, Lynn. I'll be back. What was the cooking show over there, Bum Crack, where it was the two, it was called Two Fat Ladies or whatever. One rode, drove the motorcycle, the other one rode in the sidecar, and they used to do the cooking. I used to watch that show all the time. They were hilarious. I loved watching them. But you don't see it on anymore. Father Knows Best, that's another one. Cupcake, you should see my setup on my kitchen table right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's a laptop, a tablet that's propped up on a bunch of boxes full of jewelry, my phone on a tripod. <laughs> oh, wow, that's insane. So, bum crack, one of them died? Was that the, uh, we're talking about the two ladies that were the cooks, right? The chefs? That's sad. They were funny. Talking about international shows, anybody ever watched the Red Green show? Was it Red Green or, yeah, the Red Golden Green show? Golden Girls. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Golden Girls. B. Arthur, Betty White. Oh, I can't remember the other two. Jewelry nurse said somebody got word to bag checking. She emailed her. All right, right on. Thanks, Cindy, for letting us know. I'm sorry, Cindy. It was going to take me a while to remember your name to your handle. Yeah, because there's like Jewelry Nurse Cindy, and then there's Cindy. Cindy loves jewelry. And I think there's a third Cindy out there somewhere. I'm not sure. I think there uh, is. Yeah, just like there's multiple Mikes, there's multiple Todds. Well, my husband's name is Mike, and then there's Crazy Mike, Cupcake Mike, I think there's another Mike. Oh, Two Fat Ladies, that was the show, that's right. They, those those ladies crack me up, man, when they're riding down the down the, through the field or wherever to go. That One was riding the, driving the motorcycle, and the other one was in the sidecar holding the food, the basket, or the groceries. And then when they would cook, and they made some great food. I actually like this stone better than that one. What do you got now? Is that the same uh, ribbon turquoise? Uh huh. But I like this stone better. See, things happen for a reason. The energy wasn't right in that leather stone. Yeah. It said make it into earrings. Hey, Swamp Picker, Glenn's here. Hi, Glenn. Vanessa says silver lining, Sandy. Oh, yeah. No, not much goes to waste. You know, after taking that much time to, to do that, I'm not going to. I'll check, Barbara. I'm going to check on YouTube for those episodes. Um, Sandy, the one that broke. You got enough in that that you could cut two earrings out of for later on? No. So is that a throwaway or will you use that? Probably. That's a shame. I don't know. I might cut it down a little bit. I might cut it down. But this one's got even better color to it. See it? Cool. We can see that blue, yeah. Yeah, you can actually see the strand right through the middle. Yeah. Uh, no bum crack. I didn't know that. He said, the ones on the bike were the two fat ladies. And he says, have you seen the hairy bikers? They ride around on motorbikes and cook things in the countryside, etc. One of them is from my town I'm from. Hey, brother, do they do any of their stuff on YouTube? If yeah, how do you watch that? Can you put a link in that? Can you put a link up? 
Vanessa said Sandy just auctioned the stone off by itself. I would. <laughs> I would. I think she can cut it down to like little pieces, like little bitty pieces, you know, uh, for uh, accent uh, pieces, like on a pendant. Or or solomon. No, no, I'll just I'll just grind it off right there. The stone will be um the stone will just be that big. See it? Mm. No, we're not doing little bitty pieces. I don't do little bitty pieces. Uh. So this cross is really going to look cool. Are you going to finish that one today? Yeah. For sure. Yep. I'm finishing this today. I am finishing um, this um, ring today. And I'm going to finish the men's bracelet today. Thank you. Uh, thank you, David, for the Harry Biker show. I just popped up. It looks like it would be fun to watch. That's what oh, that's and Bum Crack right. put the, uh, the, what you call it? The uh, YouTube channel up. Interesting. That ring is something else. This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll just cut another stone for it. That's no biggie. No Sandy, everybody's biggie. telling you to go get something to eat. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm beginning to fade a little bit. So I may run down and get me some chili rainos. Cool. Yep. That sounds so good. Yep. They are. They are the bomb. I think What's I'll, all in them? It's um, a cheese stuffed chili dipped in batter and deep fried. And then it's smothered with red or green chili. I like oh, red you, chili. You, you mean oh. chili riano? Yeah. Oh, chili riano is awesome. So I think I'll call them and get it to go. So I don't have to sit there because if I sit there, I'm going to have a beer. If I have a beer, I might not make it back out to the shop. Right. <laughs> yeah, Barb, is saying, Barb is saying, Sandy, eat, eat, do, go eat, do, do that instead of the jewelry. All right. Bye. Yeah. Sandy. Remember, right. gas needs a uh, car needs gas, Sandy. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go eat, and then we'll come back and cut this stone, and we'll cut the stone for the bracelet. Finish up the cross, and then I gotta take pictures of all this stuff. So. Got a full day, I guess. All righty, guys. Um, I'm going to take it to the house. And so I will see you guys later on this afternoon. Thanks for coming in. All righty. Bye from Albuquerque.